Peace, love, and light, everybody. I am Isha, Goddess of Wisdom, and this is Sacred Energy Change 222. And welcome back. Welcome back. It's the day after Valentine's Day. I feel like it's a lot of energy, and we're about to have this Leo full moon tomorrow. So that energy is already surfacing up and, and through the night and into tomorrow. So I feel like Cupid done. Cupid done went around, made his marks, and that is fire, passion, energy is rolling in. So, we are in this divine realm, energy of love, and I feel like, I feel like y'all had great days yesterday. Even if you know, that's another, even if uh, to, yesterday's there is not just you know, we celebrate love every day, but it wasn't just about you know being in a couple. It was about people was just happy in love with themselves. You know, I went out yesterday. People was just positive, happy. You know enjoying life people went out with friends family members you know that's what it's about it's not about just relationships also with yourself so some people went out by themselves just to celebrate themselves i posted about that today you know celebrate you you are you are to be celebrated and once again you guys you know please i will attach at the bottom of this video my website to my copper shop you can check out some products i do still have some sales currently going on and I do have my Venmo and Cash App at this time. If you would like to donate to the channel to help me invest in more of the Way to Happiness books. I do take donations. And thank y'all so much for y'all support. We're going to get this reading started. So this is going to, like I said, it's going to be a, a full moon read for Leo. Hold on, let's actually burn some payload before I get started. I'm still having to record right now. Because honestly, trying to go live from a laptop, yeah, that's not working. <laughs> All right, burn some payload. I love the smell of this. Mmm, yes. And let's go ahead and ring this bell, get us in tune, and cleanse the energy. Air, fire, water, earth, spirit. And I have this candle burning here, red and white for purity, light. Also, love, passion, sex, romance, all of these things. So, it's going to be a short read today. I'm going to pull from the astrology deck as well as this reading. Let's go. I feel like this is going to come out. Some of this Cupid energy from, from yesterday is about to come out in this reading. Especially with this line. Line, very passionate energy. So, hold on. Let me tilt this a little bit more. I'm gonna try. There we go. I'm going to have to find something that's to hold this. Give me one second. Yeah, that's better. All right, here we go. First card coming in, some more air. We getting up. We always coming in on this air. So this is Aquarius, Libra, um, Gemini energy. Also, this is five. This is number of change, and this is an obstacles card. So this could be some obstacle struggles coming in or already have transpired. So yes, obstacles, mental activity, communication, oppositions. See what the overall energy of this card is. Yeah, like I said, yep, five being a number of change struggles, discord. So detachment, that's why it's air. Detachment. So this is anxiety, setbacks, interferences, happy home, but interference from other people, re reversals and opposites, but eventual success. So I feel like this is kind of coming off that uh, read from the other day about Something this got something to do with this hater. These haters, this is a plural thing, you know. It's an interference from other people. Y'all gonna be so you know this romantic love affair is going to be successful, but y'all going through some struggles right now with some interferences from other people. I feel like y'all allowing these haters to get to you. I hope not. Oh, we got this ten of diamonds, so we got this wealth. This is also about completion. So this is a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy right here. Let's see. Always associated with wealth, so that's always grand. 
Okay, yes, the completion, you know, ending of a cycle. And it's about receiving gifts, material wealth, see, you know, see, receiving some type of support as well. From, and, and maybe from a partner, but also just career-wise too. So this says journey, fortune changes, usually bring your wealth. So yeah, you got wealth. This is wealth coming in. Ooh, we got this queen of diamonds. So we just had the king of diamonds the other day. So I suggest y'all to go back and watch that read I did for... Uh, for Valentine's Day, for those who celebrate, you don't have to celebrate it to resonate with the reading. But yes, this Queen of Diamonds coming. This is also Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy here. This is definitely a woman. And I feel like this is affiliated with that King of Diamonds we just pulled the other day. So this is a wealthy woman. So look, this woman, she had flirt, a very fair haired woman, flirtatious, sophisticated, witty, loves to party, and to gossip. Oh. Oh my goodness, so let's see who this is. This is uh this person is and I just I feel like this is affiliated with this that king. And I feel like we're gonna see when we go on through this read. But yes, this person likes to gossip. So I feel like that's where this interfere. This could be an ex. Maybe this is this this could be an ex. This could be an ex, and that's why she may be gossiping with your new union. She may be trying to talk trash on some mistakes you may have made or even though you ain't, you ain't make, you may not, you know, done anything necessarily wrong, but she's talking trash about you. She's talking trash, spreading it around, possibly. Sound like she was, um, she may be jealous because y'all are not together no more. So some type of lifestyle she, you were providing, she doesn't have anymore. All right. So we got some fire energy. This is an eight. It's also about infinity. It's a karmic number. Uh, this is Leo, Sagittarius. Aries energy, and this is a Leo Reed. So this person, like I said, so this queen could be an Earth sign, or she could have Earth placement. And this is some type of fire energy. So we're gonna see what this is talking about right here. Let's see. So yeah, this is about creativity and sex and actions. Also, advancement karma, like I said, a karmic number. So this says oppositions, danger, or recklessness, trouble in relationships, business, and personal jealousy and greed. Oof. What is this, y'all? What are we coming out of? I was really rooting for some positive energy here, but this is, I hope this is a past tense thing. But yeah, this is somebody that's, this per this woman that likes to gossip and party, she reckless. And that's and so this may be a relationship you're in currently. And you may have a because this woman, this is a wealth car. She about her business. I feel like she's she has some type of business with you, possibly. But she's jealousy, she's jealous and greedy with it. You know, it hasn't been a good business partnership. It doesn't seem like it. We're gonna see. Hmm. Another card, this is a Holy Trinity number. This is also, it's about family. Also, this is fire. So, this is another Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy here. Let's see. Yeah, this is also about networking, communication, traveling. Uh, let's see. It got marriage to a wealthy partner, money coming from the partner. So, I don't feel like this is this person. This is somebody else. So, uh, this is something you just came out of. This may be... Like I said, you got to go back and watch that other reading I just had when I had a reading right for Valentine's Day. This may be that relationship they was coming out of. This may be you. Because I said, take a hand This may even, this may be a man. You dealt with this woman already. Or a woman, somebody done dealt with this type of woman already. This party, this gossiper, you know, unreliable and jealous and greedy. You done dealt with this person. Now, you about to be align with a partner that's a, a wealthy partner and money coming from a partner so it's going to be an equally exchanged partnership that's what i'm getting so this is a past tense thing that's a great thing <laughs> this is over with so we got another three we got three spaces and more air energy gemini libra aquarius energy here this is also like i said uh this is a, a holy trinity number but also about networking and communication and traveling so you may be traveling with this partner as well. Y'all, y'all, you know, with this wealth, y'all may have businesses, y'all may have to travel. So this is 
This is an obstacles card. So it's some type of obstacles and struggles possibly. Let's go see what the overall energy of this card is. They got parties possible due to faithfulness. May be weary in partnerships. Ugh. Okay, y'all. I don't know what is going on with this. Some this is still some infidelity showing up. And I'm like, I'm and it's kind of there's no, it's not a timeline in this necessarily. So I'm feeling like it's a past person. I feel like it's a past person. It's not the person that's, you know, you're going to have this successful union with. So maybe these are warnings. You might need to get away from this person if you're around them now so you won't miss out on this new divine counterpart attached to this other person. Okay, so we got nine here. This is the number of fertility. It's also a number of endings and new beginnings. It's also an air card, Gemini, Libra, a career's energy here. Let's see. Yes, this is another obstacles and struggles card. And I feel like it's a lot of communication. So you about to be communicating with somebody. And I feel like it's this I feel like it's this person that you about to have this business, this success with. It got marriage to a wealthy partner, come money coming from the partner. That's what I'm channeling right now. And y'all about to communicate. Like in the last read, this could be your twin flame or soulmate too, but y'all about to communicate. The lack of communication is coming to an end. Especially as soon as you get away from this this last person. If you already have, you might be healing right now. You might be spending time with yourself. Let me see. Which is a good thing. Spend some time with yourself so you can get past these things. Look, oh my God. This says bad luck in all things. Depression and low energy. Destruction, death, extreme anxiety can mean delays or quarrels. So whatever you coming out of. You, you're coming out of some type of this fire. See, this, and this is a Leo read. So... Now, this is a full, this is full moon Leo read. And like I said, this is no, <laughs> nothing towards Leos. All, we are all the signs. But this is definitely some type of fiery, toxic energy you're coming out of here with somebody. It was, it's, some, it's unfaithfulness going on. And the gossip may actually be true. So that's making it worse. People in y'all business and knowing your business is getting spread all around. Mmm. Somebody was unfaithful. Somebody committed infidelity. Maybe you or maybe the other person or both. Some people do that. I cheat. I cheat back, you know, which is never good. It never helps when you cheat back. You just made it worse. And then so it's causing anxiety. And then y'all probably been talking to people about your business. He or she been talking to people. So now that's where y'all got too many interferences and it's setting your back some more. This energy is it's a lot. We got one more card. Let's see what this last card is talking about. So we got 10 here. So this is, I feel like this cycle has ended. That's why I said, I feel like this is a past tense situation. And this person right here is this queen right here. It could be a Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus energy or have these placements. Definitely, it's the person you coming out of this, this with, man or woman, whoever's coming out of a relationship with this person. And it doesn't mean they have to be that sign. So if it resonates with you, it resonates. So they, they don't have to even be, like I said, they sun sign does not have to be Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. But they could have that in their chart. And that's why it's coming up. Um, But yes, this 10 right here, this is another fire card. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy here. This is also about the completion of a cycle. Let's see. Yeah, this is about yep, a descending, the ending of a cycle. And this is about sex, creativity, and action, learning. So maybe this is, yeah, this is the card where you may have learned from some of these mistakes in this relationship. Because you did tell, it did tell you had a, wealth, a, um, a, a marriage to a wealthy partner and money coming from the partner. So I feel like that's somebody new. But they're, you know, they, they want to get you back on what you just came out of to make sure you don't do that again. So, okay, look, this is great. See, look, so this is money from an unexpected source. Good luck and gift travel aboard. So, yeah, see these two cards right here. All right, so these, the dopest right here. These two cards right here, you had the marriage to a wealthy partner, money coming from the partner. And then you had money from an unexpected source, good luck, gift to travel aboard. And I'm going to be honest, if you think about that last read we had, what you was talking about, that king of diamonds coming in. And he was like, pack your stuff. Yeah, he had the, he had, it was the same card, I believe. Travel aboard. 
He was like, pack your stuff. So this is that same energy. It's, it's reminding you again. So this, I feel like this is the other angle of that relationship. It was a king of diamonds, you know, in the other card. And now this is a queen of diamonds. So this is that, this is possibly that cheater. <laughs> You know, this is possibly that person that committed that infidelity. If you see, and they had all infidelity in this read. So it had to remind you that don't go back to this person. You see what you came out of? Look, so look, I'm going to pull these back up again. This person committed infidelity. They was gossiping on top of that. They had a nerd to gossip about y'all relationship to people. So making it worse by telling y'all business to everybody. They was reckless. And they was, you know, they... They was jealous and greedy and y'all relationship together and y'all business. How you gonna be jealous of a business relationship you we got together? That don't that's that's a that don't even make sense. We're supposed to be a power couple. We working together. You can't be jealous for our business and being greedy with our money. You know, so this wasn't a good equally exchange. You know, I'm not a biblical, you know, I'm not a Christian, but you know, it says in the Bible that we need to be equally yoked. And that's true. Being equally yoked, and this doesn't seem like somebody equally yoked. This seemed like somebody that wanted to benefit from all the success that you was putting in, but want to get the want to get the benefits like they put in the work, and they weren't putting in the work, but they was definitely spending the money. They was definitely partying because this person remember said she was a party. She liked to party and liked to gossip, so she she was just spending the money. She was there for the lifestyle. She wasn't trying to really help, you know. So if you went fell on hard times, she wasn't even helping. You don't want to go back to that. So. And that's nothing. This is nothing against a Virgo, Capricorns, or Taurus. This is just, these are just the energies, uh, uh, the energies of these cards. And it could be that person or they could have that placement. Does that mean if you meet somebody else with those signs, oh, don't, don't do it. We need to stop doing that too. People are people. They're, we're, it's more than just the sign. So, yeah, you got this coming in. You got a marriage to a wealthy partner. And y'all going to be, it seems like this person wants y'all to move in together. Like with that other reading, this person was like, pack your stuff and let's go. They're ready. They done been through it. Look at all that. They came out of all this. They ready for this. They know they deserve this. This divine counterpart. This divine union. And also, y'all going to have abundance. So, and this is a fire. This is, like I said, this is a Leo read, so it makes sense. So, I definitely am channeling y'all about to have a, a great sex life, especially if this is your twin flame. Y'all not going to have no choice but to. This is going to be like some divine, I call it a space jam. You know, this is going to be, y'all going to be having sex spiritually, emotionally, physically, you know, in all, in all areas. It's not going to just be physical with y'all this is going to be a soul tie you know and once y'all actually do have sex this is not something you're going to be able to get up and just leave and not return to or forget about this person y'all going to be tied to each other this is a divine counterpart a twin flame so don't mess this up if you're in something right now you need to do some healing do the healing you need to do and get and remove yourself from this person you know because you don't want to bring all that energy in, from an unhealed place and ruin this new divine counterpart either. So. Hold on one second, y'all. One second. One more second. Okay, thank y'all for waiting. Had to go move something real quick. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pull from the astrology deck. I feel like, yes, this is going to give us a little bit more information here. Hold on, you know what? Let's look at the bottom of the deck. Hold on, I forgot about the bottom of the deck. So hold on, before I even pull the astrology card. Bottom of the deck is... The big joker. So, like, this is the big joker. So, this is transformation. This is also the fool. So, this is transformation. Exactly. Y'all about to transfer into this marriage and this twin flame. And you about to forget about all that other stuff you just came out of with this person that cheated on you. Yeah, this is the totally, this is like eclipse energy. I told you it's going to be a space jam. This is not about to be something you're going to just be able to walk away from. This is new developments, fresh starts, taking a risk. So, this new person, like I said about a twin flame. You're not going to be, it's not going to be like a typical relationship. Y'all going to be in love. This is a true divine love relationship. It's probably going to feel like this is your true first time being in love with somebody. That's how you're going to feel. You're going to think, you know, once you get with this person, you're going to think about all the relationships you've been in where you thought she was in love. And in your mind, you were really in love with these people. And all these, you know, the person. And now that you really found divine, true love, unconditional love, you're going to be like, I ain't never been in love like this before. That's exactly how this is going to feel. So... 
stay focused and be ready. What they say, don't get uh, stay ready so you don't have to get ready. <laughs> so yes, pull from this astrology deck. All right, I'm gonna do four more cards too so for this one. Oh, it got moon dust. Look at this card. If y'all can see it right here, I want y'all to see that. Moon dust. So it says, magical moon beams heal your soul. The dust shows divine eyes where to go. So yeah, right now, tonight, you know, in this Leo, you know, new moon, full moon coming, you need to use this energy, do any type of ritual work, you know, whatever you do, spiritually pray, you know, manifest, take you a bath, you know, cleanse, charge your crystals, charge all your spiritual items in this new moon so you can soak up this energy. Because this energy is about loving yourself and also being making those connections with your love because you did the work to truly love yourself you can't love anybody else until you know how to love yourself authentically and truly and unconditionally so yes I, that makes so much sense moon dust and gemini so look i told y'all so this 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 could mean it could be a gemini that um you about to be aligned with but it's also i feel like it's something to do with the aquarius season we're still in the aquarius season also it's got dualistic percepts receptive or communication so you and this divine counselor are about to talk y'all about to communicate i just said that y'all about to be talking this is a twin flame and i like how you know the gemini is that i feel like it's hard to pair a gemini with a twin flame because that'll be a lot he so he's a twin already he's his own and then they or he or she he or she is a twin already and then for them to have another person to get two energies in them that's like four people or some or more so but i feel like this is the energy just giving this is that twin flame that's why they like that that like that back to back that's what i feel like this is giving me that's the energy and y'all about to communicate oh look at this what taurus second house i have resources so look what i just say about self-worth so you got to have this self-worth environment value stability so yeah this couple that you you know this this union you're about to be led to. It's going to be a divine union. It's going to be successful. Y'all both are going to be abundant. I love it. Y'all both going to be abundant. See, oh, because Andy said, look, the last card, Saturn. Let me pull it back some. Just lighten. So, look, it says expansion, luck, wisdom, healing, influence, wealth, law, religions, higher education, big business, international travel. Like I just said, what are them cards kept saying? Them cards kept saying travel aboard. Whoever you and this person is, this like I said, this person is a wealthy partner. And I feel like this is still talking about this king of diamonds that we had. This is a wealthy partner coming in, and you about to be traveling with him or her. Like I said, it could be a, uh, it could be either or. And but this person's about to communicate with you soon, so that's why you got to. What this both of these cards are talking about healing. So tonight you need to be, and, and every day you need to be doing this because this person is in route and it's gonna be knocking at your door or calling your phone, something contacting you soon, and you need to be healed. That's why they say healing, heal. Heal the soul, healing. You need to be healed already when they come so you won't have to miss out on this divine opportunity. Don't, you know, don't hold on to this person that's been in all this infidelity with you, that used you, you know, for the lifestyle, that wasn't being a, a great partner to you. It's okay. It's over with now. Like I always say, do not go back. All right? So I feel like that's, you know, maybe we could pull from the Oracle deck real quick. Yeah, let's pull from this Oracle deck real quick. And then I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna wrap it up. I feel like some more, some more energy needs to be out here. Something else needs to be said and reminded. All right. Oh, I can't make this up. Didn't I just say something? Just told me to pull this. Twin flame, a spiritual connection between you and your twin flame. I told you that's what this is about. This Gemini card. They telling you they coming. Release grudges and wounds and pent up feelings through healing activity. What did I just say? Y'all need to heal. Y'all need to be healing because this twin flame is coming. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. I, to I said some told me to pull from this deck. Energy activation. Connect to divine through meditation or prayer. And what did I just say tonight? Y'all need to be manifesting. Y'all need to be praying, cleansing, taking a bath if you need to, charging your crystals up because they coming. Resolving issues. Yes. Solving inner conflict with others, healing past traumas. You got to be healed. This person is coming. Look at that. Twin flame. Release. Release. All this is telling you is cleanse, release, cleanse, release, cleanse, release, heal, cleanse, and release. Because they know what you just came out of. They know what you've been through. They know you hurting. They know. They know you've been hurt. 
And they 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 gonna take care of you. The universe is on your side. They know, but they they telling you love yourself, heal, and release all this. Forgive. What did that card say? Release grudges. Don't hold grudges against that person to cheat on you. And don't hold. We hold grudges against ourselves. Don't hold a grudge on yourself either. This twin flame is coming, and it's about to be successful. Period. And y'all about to have some fantastic sex. Period. Okay. Six Money and sex go together. Happiness goes together. Spirituality go together. All these things go together. You can't have the money without the spiritual or guidance. And you can't have the sex without the love. It's all this, it, it all go together. We can't, we always be getting one or two of something. We need it. It has to all be together. You got to have the trust, the love, the spirituality, the integrity behind it, the responsibility, the accountability. You can't get money. You don't get rewarded without those things. So, yes. This is so beautiful. I'm so excited right now, y'all. I really am. Because whoever this, whoever resonates with this, congratulations to you. And I just said that. And that's what I just said this Gemini card was about. This twin flame. And boom. we That's the first card I pulled and some told me to pull. So, y'all, that is all I got for y'all. Happy Leo full moon. Do your cleansing tonight. Light your candles. Light your altars. Pray. Whatever it is you do spiritually, you know to get in tune and heal and really heal y'all and release so you can get this divine connection divine counterpart that you deserve and this abundance and and healing is abundance healing is abundance once you heal everything is limitless okay so y'all have a grand day and thank y'all all for tuning in and like i said my books are still coming in my way to happiness books let me show y'all again my way to happiness books are coming in like i said it's more custom it's more personalized with me on the cover they are coming in, and I do take donations for this book because it does cost me to make them, of course. And I have my emails going to be attached to the end of this video, so if you want to email me so you can figure out how to get a copy. I do have PDF copies. I don't charge for those, but if you feel generous to still give a donation, I will accept gracefully. So I will put all my Instagram, Facebook information, Venmo, Cash Out, website, so you can look at, check out my copper jewelry. I will also list all that, and I thank y'all for y'all support. And thank y'all for tuning in. And please tell others about the page if you see fit and enjoy this content. All right. Peace, love, and light.